This is an example of a combinational logic circuit that actually has three OR gates. This OR gate we can see has inputs A and B. This one has inputs C and D. And when we're using gates in combination, it's important to be able to derive the Boolean representation for the output F. Now we'll achieve that by looking at the output of each gate in turn. So if we come to this particular gate here, what I can write in this position is A or B, because that is the Boolean representation for the output of an OR gate based on its inputs. If I therefore come down here, the output here would be C or D for this particular OR gate. This Boolean expression acts as the input to one of the inputs on the two input OR gate and this one acts as the input to the other. Now here we can say F equals, now I've no room there so I'll come down here and say F equals the inputs to this particular OR gate all odd together. So the first input to the gate is A or B. Now I'm going to put brackets around that so we can easily distinguish it as one of the inputs. And we're going to OR that with the other input, which in fact is C or D. And you can see I've placed brackets around that particular OR expression. So what we have there is the expression at F, the Boolean expression at F. And if you like, you can think of this as representing the functionality of these OR gates when they're in combination as shown here. Here we can see three AND gates in combination as shown. Now I'm going to derive the output at each of the AND gates in turn. The output here is the inputs and the together, so we have A and B. Below this, we have the output at this point, which will be the ANDing of the inputs to this particular gate, which would be C and D. And of course, the output from this AND gate goes to this input of this AND gate. Likewise, this goes to the other input. Now, at F, we would say F equals, now there's no room there, so I'll just pop down here to do this one. It would equal the input A and B. And I'll put brackets around that so we can distinguish that particular input from the other input, which would be C and D. Now, of course, what we do, we AND those two inputs together. So what we have there is the Boolean expression at F for this particular combinational logic circuit. Here we have another combinational logic circuit, and this is made up of three NOR gates. Now, we will now produce the Boolean expressions at each of the gates. And we'll start here with A or B, and all of that will be knotted, as you can see there. If we now go to the other gate below this, the output here is C or D, all knotted. Now, of course, this is the input to this gate, as well as being the output from the previous gate, and this output here goes to the input of the same gate but the other input. And of course now we can say F equals, now there's no room there so I'll do that down here, and what we will have, we will have F being equal to its inputs, now the first input is A or B, and of course all of that is knotted, so I'll put that in brackets, and the other input is C or D, and all of that is knotted, so I'll put that in brackets. And of course, what now happens, we OR both of those inputs together and put the knot straight across the top. We now have another combinational logic circuit, and this time it's made of three NAND gates. Now we're going to produce the output of each of the gates in turn. So here we can see we have A and B all knotted. Down here we have C and D all knotted. Now that acts as an input to this gate. This acts as an input to this gate. So F, and again I'll write it down here, 
is going to be equal to both of its inputs. Now there's the first input A and B, all knotted. And here's the other input, C and D, all knotted. Now this gate is going to AND those two inputs and then knot them because it's NANDing them, which means AND the inputs and then knot the lot. So we can see there that F equals that particular expression for this particular combinational logic circuit. Here we can see a combinational logic circuit made out of a variety of different gates. Now I'm going to start off with the OR gate in the top left hand corner and the output from this gate is going to be A or B. I'm now going to move down to the AND gate below this and the output from that will be C and D. Now this C and D will be the input to this OR gate here. However, this A or B will be the input to this NOT gate. So we have to decide what goes at the output of the NOT gate. And the answer is its input knotted. Now of course its input is A or B. And of course that lot will be knotted. Now this A or B knotted goes as the input to this gate here, which is the OR gate. So here we can say F equals, and again I'll come down here to do that, the input to this gate. Now one of the inputs we can see is A or B all knotted, which in fact is uh, this one here. And the other input is the C and the D. C and the D. Now I'll put those in brackets there so we can distinguish the two inputs. And the question is now, what happens to those two inputs? Well, they're odd together because they're going to the input of a two-input OR gate. We have another combinational logic circuit, and on this occasion we have two NOR gates, a NAND gate, and a knock gate. So we'll start looking at the output at each stage. So we will start at this point here and the output from this two input NOR gate is A or B all knotted. And of course that will go as the input to this particular two input NOR gate here. Now the output at this particular point is going to be its input which will be C and D and all of that will be knotted because this is an example of a NAND gate. Now of course this will now act as the input to a NOT gate. So at this particular point here we take the input to the NOT gate which is C and D knotted and we have to knot the lot again. So we end up with two knots there as you can see. Now the output of F, if I come down here to write it, will be the input to this gate NOD together. Now let's have a look at the inputs first. Here's the first input which is A or B all knotted and over here we will now have C and D knotted and knotted again so that's one of the inputs I'm putting brackets around. Here's the other input here. Now, this particular gate is going to gnaw those inputs. Now, that means or them and then not them. So we or them and then we not them, So which means the knot goes straight across the top like that.